Hey everyone, how's it going today? This is Crypto Fox, and thanks so much for stopping by the channel. So in this video, we are going to go over um, the Bitcoin price and take a look at the overall market. We could be seeing some early stages of the bull market starting. So we're going to talk about what that means as well. So jump into it, smash the like button, and subscribe to my channel as well for more cryptocurrency news. So let's start off by taking a look at the chart. Uh, Bitcoin is climbing back up towards the 60K mark. We're uh, currently sitting at 59.5. And um, we're noticing, you know, there's a number of coins that are in the double digits today. So we are seeing a little bit of a rally. Uh, is it going to sustain? Um, that's the question. So we're going to talk about that as well. So let's jump over and uh, have a look at our article. Um, so we can see here data from on-chain analysis firms suggest Bitcoin miners capitulation may be ending. So that could signal the onset of a potential bull market for Bitcoin. As Bitcoin shows signs of recovery, the overall market sentiment is turning a bit more positive with miners no longer under severe pressure to sell. The market conditions are increasingly conductive to growth. Crypto Quant highlights that the hash ribbons indicator, which observes the 30 and 60 day moving averages of the hash rate, signaled the end of minor capitulation. The hash rate reached, uh, reached a new peak and uh, that marks uh, the first such rebound since the Bitcoin halving. So that is good to know. Uh, you know, a lot of people think just because we have the Bitcoin halving, it means prices are going to automatically go up. But it's usually months down the road before that takes place. So that's what we could be looking at now. Although the indicator isn't meant to pinpoint the exact price bottom, it often precedes higher prices by signaling a reduction in selling pressure from miners, CryptoQuant explained. So it's not like you should, uh, everybody should be going all in at this point. It's more of a, you know, this could be signaling a reversal coming soon kind of thing. Um, so that's what we're looking at. In late June, being crypto reported levels of minor capitulation comparable to those seen during the FTX collapse. Due to high operational costs uh, surpassing the revenue from mining, we aren't seeing um, that happening now. So capitulation was going on in the summer. I did actually have a couple of videos talking about that as well. And it's just basically they're not making enough money from mining Bitcoin that they take some of their reserves and sell it off to make sure they offset the costs. So. Um, that's something uh, to be noted as well. Additionally, on-chain demand for Bitcoin suggests that the Bitcoin consolidation phase may be nearing its end as well. After Bitcoin reached the 57K mark, there was an increase in the average daily token transfer volume from 650,000 to 765,000. This coincides with Bitcoin's price stabilization in the local consolidation range between 57 and 68K. And this comes from uh, analyst Axel Adler Jr., the surge in transfer volume is largely due to panic selling by holders. You know, people get scared. They see prices moving down. Miners are selling that kind of thing. And people are like, OK, I'm out. That's it. You know, everything's going to zero or they're like, I'm going to sell and buy back in lower. And, you know, that's always a, a good theory. Um, if you can actually time that, that, that's a great theory. But prices shown resilience, indicating that the market has effectively absorbed the selling pressure. So this uh, points to a solid demand for Bitcoin. Adler Jr. believes that Bitcoin is approaching the final phase of the market consolidation. So that's good to know. That is, uh, you know, definitely something that we are keeping an eye on. There's a lot of talks right now, a positive sentiment change on social media. We are seeing people getting more bullish on Bitcoin and cryptocurrency as a whole. And uh, we'll have to just kind of wait and see how things play out. We obviously need some macro, macro factors to uh, participate in this in order for it to give us um, basically enough oomph to kind of get things started. So I, I'm not anticipating that's going to happen today or tomorrow or anything like that. You guys are not people are going to be millionaires overnight kind of thing. But, you know, this could be signaling something starting fairly soon. But that's what I got for you guys in this video. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll catch you guys. In the